best web services programming language design concept assignment sri lanka institute of information technology rest is an architectural style for the building of network based systems the main purpose of this architectural style is to guide the design and development of the architecture for modern web the main goals of rest are scalability of component interactions generality of interfaces independent deployment of components and intermediary components to reduce interaction latency to enforce security and to encapsulate legacy systems from a unix viewpoint rest has resources rather than files uri space instead of a file system a slightly different generic interface and a generic shared abstraction west cannot be considered the answer to all distributed computing and integration problems but it can yield highly practical solutions to a variety of problems an example for a restful web application as defined in rest resources are identified by uniform resource identifiers resources are manipulated through their representations messages are self descriptive and stateless multiple representations are accepted or sent hypertext is the engine of application state a few characteristics of rest web services rest has a client server architecture a pull based interaction style consuming components pull representations rest is stateless each request from client to server must contain all the information necessary to understand the request and cannot take advantage of any stored context on server cache is used to improve network efficiency responses must be capable of being labeled as cacheable or non cacheable the system is comprised of resources which are named using a url interconnected resource representations the representation of the resources are interconnected using urls thereby enabling a client to progress from one state to another layered components intermediaries such as proxy servers cache servers and gateways can be inserted between clients and resources to support performance security and etc rest is client server stateless cached uniform interfaced and a layered system rest application integration style REST supports any media type 
and XML is the most popular transport method for REST. Unlike SOAP and XML, REST does not really require a new message format. Constraints to be followed in a REST system Interactions are stateless. Resources are identified through URIs. Resource manipulation is done through representations. Self-descriptive messages and hypermedia is the engine of application state. Restful clients and resources transfer resource state representation to each other. The client and server must agree on the formats of such representations to allow meaningful exchange. The advantages of REST are Scalable component interactions General interfaces Independently deployed connectors Reduced interaction latency, security, and safe encapsulation of legacy systems. Supports intermediaries as data transformation and caching components. Concentrates the application state within the user agent components where the surplus disk and cycles are. Separates server implementation from the client's perception of resources. Scales well to large number of clients. Enables transfer of data in streams of unlimited size and type. REST is a post hoc description of the web. HTTP 1.1 was designed to conform to REST. Its methods are defined well enough to get work done. Unsurprisingly, HTTP is the most RESTful protocol. But it's possible to apply REST concepts to other protocols as well. HTTP uses MIME media types to identify data formats. Developers must consider the nature of their services and decide what MIME types they support. HTTP supports content negotiation connect, between clients and services. A client can set the accept header in a request to a list of acceptable MIME types to tell the server what formats it's willing to receive. A common problem is when application semantics don't fit into the generic interfaces and representational state model. The above problem represents model of the world. These interfaces are sufficiently general. Other interfaces considered harmful because they increase the cost of consuming particular services. REST concepts apply in general to any system. Some problems can be solved more cleanly or quickly with other none or particularly REST approaches. But then you can't really participate in the web. The larger or more foundational your system, the more you need REST. Thank you for viewing the presentation for REST Web Services.